Hello YouTube and welcome to our 82nd Unity 3D tutorial. Um, next tutorial we're going to finally export our character but for this tutorial we're just going to be setting up some of the defaults getting rid of a few bugs. So at the moment we've got our character creation screen and we can go next 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 but if we click next on the armor one it's trying to call a blank object which isn't here which we need to fix but if I just go to it again and add it like so and then we click next we can do this once we've done all this we can click finish and then on here we need it to stay for a second so you can see your character then pop up your loading screen load the other game and then come straight in so we've got a little bit to do it's not super hard but I also want to integrate the main menu to it so the main menu actually links properly so first thing we're going to do is go to file build settings and as you can see we've got all these ones here and we'll just drag character creation on here or customization then um, we've got everything else there yep so what we can do is if we go back to save this one and go to our main menu and find this one here so we've got play game so we need to look for whatever scripts attached to this main menu so get all your character customization, character customization and copy the name and in here where it says application.load level 1 we don't do that anymore, we load level character customization. So now that works, so we click play, it'll load character customization. And then from character customization, when we click final on our stats select one here, so when we click next here, instead of print next level, it's going to play application.load level level one. Simple as that. Um, in order to set up the export, that will be quite easy next time, but it doesn't understand application because it's a capital A. We need to change a couple of things on most scripts, but once it's done once, we're pretty much done, so it's easy. Um, actually, let's start from the beginning, level 1. Not level 1. Ah, oh, I shouldn't click level 1. There we go. That loaded quite quick, actually. So, play game options, we need to make this auto scale, but it'll be fine for now. So, play game. So, that loads. Next. And. YouTube. Increases strength, it could be super strong this time. Next. There we go. So, that works perfect. No errors there. And it's deciding to rain. Look at that. But yeah, so we're going there slowly. So we've got that one, but now for our cat car customization, let's fix the armor bug. Now the reason it's doing it is if you go to your armor script, which we have here, you will see when you click next, it adds all that, that's fine, it plays the audio, it's all fine, that's what it's supposed to do. It destroys the object, that's fine, it's meant to. But then it look what it tries to do. Game object dot find spawned back. And if we play this in non maximize mode next next right so we're here right, let's type in spawn well there's no spawn back basically none at all because in order to create it we have to click that which creates a blank one well a helmet one so easiest way to fix this would be to type here type if game object dot find spawn back equals does not equal sorry null then do this code and what that basically does is searches for game object that spawn back and if it does not equal null so if it if it doesn't find it then I mean if it does find it then do it if it doesn't find it then it's just gonna leave it blank really isn't it so same again so we're gonna duplicate all that and spawned head and here we'll type spawned head so game object that finds spawn back does it find it if yes then um, find it and add it to the character else don't do it because it does nothing and on here it will do the same for spawned head all these should be fine because they all should be there so let's give it another test next 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 
there we go so we can actually go next now and um, what we're going to do finally is on this screen is if we click finish now and it, you've still got 10 points it'll say, say like a little error here warning you have blah 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 click again to finish or something there we go then that'll load so that's working perfectly so far so in our start select here well above we're going to create a private bool um, equals false let's get a name first that would be a good idea um, left stats for our left stats equals true so in this button here we're just going to turn this up like false because if they are editing, then editing it then they, we want the error to reshow so that works we'll do the same again here false false so finish if left if um where where's our point what's our points called available points if available points equal is more than or equal to 1 so if it's more than zero or equal to zero, well, one, then it does this here, yes. Else GUI dot hmm um left stats equals true. Yeah. So if the points are more than one, in fact, if the points equals zero, then do that. Else, left stats equals true. And then below this, we'll type if left stats equals true. Here we'll create a GUI dot label rect will be. Hmm. It needs to be in the middle. So we'll copy the rect of this, even though this won't be right. width divided by 2 so it will be banging in the middle and then height divided by 2 minus 200 so that should bump it down a little bit hopefully this can be 200 long and we'll 30 down yet comma yep warning you still have um ah uh, Warning, you still have space plus space speech mark plus, so we can add some onto next to it. Available points plus left. Let's add our space in there, like that. So it should show if it's true. GUI that label warning, you still have so many points left. Let's get a try. Because if this works, it'll look cool. So spend the point, spend the point, spend the point. Next, warning: you still have six left. Six what? Six points left. So obviously that was not in the right place. So plus four hundred for the height, maybe, and then minus two hundred. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's not even on the screen no more. So, one of these is not right. So, keep get away and do it again. So, obviously the height one's too much to be 400. So, we'll try 200. And they'll put this one back to minus 200. We're going to make it look right, aren't we? Warning, you still have 10 points left. That'll do. So let's bump it up a bit further, so 300, so we can actually fit it all on. And we'll put it across a little bit, say 250. Warning, you still have two, 10 points left. Decrease, decrease. Oh, we can't decrease, that's it. Warning, you still have two points left. 
So we'll put this say 150 and I think that should be the perfect position. Warning, you still have 10 points left. Perfect. So, in fact, I want it in line with that. Select stats. So, what's our select stats? That'll be easier. Width minus 100. There we go. So, that's it for this tutorial. We've fixed all the bugs so we could just go all the way through without creating our character now, or we can sit and create our character. Dragoon, finish. Warning, you still have 10 points left, so let's. Like so, finish, and it will load it, stick him on. In fact, before we finish this tutorial, we need to put the loading screen on, don't we? So, level 1, and character, not character, sorry. Let's search for loading screen, that one. So we have our loading screen with the script attached, which is good. So we're in our prefabs folder, not in armor, or character, in hoods. We'll just assign loading screen again so it's updated. Place, yep. There we go. So on our levels, character customization, save, and drag our loading screen to it. Click. But don't forget, in the new version, what was pointed out, you can't see it in the scene view. So if I turn this on, you can't see it. But if you go to game view, you still can't see it because we haven't assigned a texture. Boom. And it don't want to show. That's a bit weird. Let's put it in the middle. So zero zero. Okay, that's very weird. But okay, never mind. So we'll do that next time because I have to figure out why that's not working. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Put that to zero. There we go, it was at zero then. Sorry about that. Complete wa waste of time there. But that works, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.